Lang, good morning. I'm Bruce Langston, a member of this congregation since 1996, and humbled and happy to be your worship associate this morning. On behalf of our lay service leader and vice president of our congregation, for only two more weeks, Jennifer Ratcliffe, and our music director, Alex Peach, I welcome you to the Unitarian Universalist Metro Atlanta North Congregation, a church home we affectionately call human. Our minister, the Reverend Dave Dunn, is away doing good deeds elsewhere in nearby communities and will return, as of now, for our in-gathering service in August. A liberal religious community, human is a member congregation of the Unitarian Universalist Association. Our open-minded, open-hearted, spiritual communities help lead lives of justice, love, learning, and hope. And our faith and values are exhibited in our seven principles. Human's mission is to nurture our spirit, strive for justice, and transform the world. Human's vision is to be a vital and visible community for all, bravely working toward the day when social economic, and environmental justice is a reality. I'm delighted to welcome those visiting with us online this morning. If you're interested in learning more about our congregation, please send an email to membership at human.org. Whoever you are, wherever you're from, whomever you love, and wherever you are on your life or spiritual journey, you are welcome here and we're glad you're with us. We look forward to getting to know you. We invite all to join us after the service at 1045 this morning for our virtual coffee hour on Google Meet. Bring your own coffee for a friendly conversation. For the meeting link, go to human, the human homepage at human.org, click on the calendar link in the upper right corner. It should be right at the top of the list. For more information on coming events, click the upcoming events link at human.org. And now, a few words about our service today. Light, the second in a two-part series related to the duality of darkness and light. The first service held during the winter solstice and during a pandemic focused on poetry related to night going deeper and centering our soul. Today's service, closest to the summer solstice, focuses on words and feelings related to light. Light is usually associated with a path, a journey. It implies change and transformation. The poems of Poe, Rilke, Hafiz draw us into the mood of comparing light and shadow curiosity towards an unknown destination, and discovery of strengths, known or unknown. The question to the listener is, where will these words take you? Now, take a moment to quiet yourself. Take a deep breath and clear your mind. Be here now in this virtual space with each other and prepare for our service. I'm Laura Keck from Humans Membership Team. If you're new to our community, I'd like to take this opportunity to personally welcome you. Please take a moment to visit our website at human.org. There on our homepage, you will find our online visitor form. After filling it out, someone from the membership committee will contact you. For more ways to connect, join us for coffee and conversation or adult religious exploration after service. You can also reach us at membership at human.org. We'd love to answer the questions you might have about human as well as to connect you with others who share your interests. We look forward to meeting with you. Fire consumes and casts a bright light. May our chalice flame consume our regrets for the past, our fears about the future, and our worries about today. May it light for us 
a path of joy and peace. A Dream by Edgar Allan Poe In visions of the dark night I have dreamed of joy departed, but a waking dream of life and light hath left me broken-hearted. Ah, what is not a dream by day to him whose eyes are cast on things around him with a ray turned back upon the past. That holy dream, that holy dream, while all the world were chiding, hath cheered me as a lovely beam, a lonely spirit guiding. What Though that light through storm and night so trembled from afar, what could there be more purely bright in truth's day star? Human is a community where everyone's needs matter, and we have learned that caring is an act of faith. We may find connection in sharing the most profound experiences of our lives. If you have a joy or sorrow that you would like to share this morning, please type it in the chat. Mike Chambers has a joy that the Family Promise families are staying with us on campus at Human, starting today for two weeks until July 4th. And he's grateful for all of you who have signed up to prepare meals, be available as hosts, purchase much needed gift cards. Human really stepped up during the difficult times to put our principles into action. Annette Pate has a sorrow that she was laid off from her counseling job last week. She's anxious but hopeful. Who knows what will happen next? And I'll drop a final pebble for all those joys and sorrows still too tender to escape the folds of our hearts. Let us keep one another in our thoughts for the coming week.
Sonnets to Orpheus, Part 2, Number 12, by Rainer Maria Rilke. Want the change. Be inspired by the flame where everything shines as it disappears. The artist, when sketching, loves nothing so much as the curve of the body as it turns away. What locks itself in sameness has congealed. Is it safer to be gray and numb? What turns hard becomes rigid and is easily shattered. Pour yourself out like a fountain. Flow into the knowledge that what you are seeking finishes often at the start and with ending begins. Every happiness is the child of a separation it did not think it could survive. And Daphne, becoming a laurel, dares you to become the wind. The Astonishing Light of Your Own Being by Hafiz I wish I could show you, when you are lonely or in darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. Even after all this time, the sun never says to the earth, You owe me. One regret, dear world that I am determined not to have when I am lying on my deathbed is that I did not kiss you enough. Look what happens with a love like that. It lights the whole sky. This place where you are right now God circled on a map for you. Don't surrender your loneliness so quickly. Let it cut more deep. Let it ferment and season you. As few human or even divine ingredients can. Something missing in my heart tonight has made my eyes so soft, my voice so tender, my need of God absolutely clear. Many people who come to Human say they do so for what they get from the community. We all get because we all give our time, our treasure, and our talent. If you'd like to give your time or talent, try the connection tab on the menu bar at the top of the homepage at human.org. And now we ask for your treasure to support the work of Human. The morning's offering will now be received using the Givelify app.
We extinguish this flame, but not the light of truth, the warmth of community, or the fire of commitment. These we carry in our hearts until we're together again. Today's benediction are words by Andrew Pakula. As you prepare to leave this sacred space, pack away a piece of this church in your heart. Wrap it carefully like a precious gem. Carry it with you through the joys and sorrows of your days. Let its gentle glow strengthen you, warm you, remind you of all that is good and true until you gather here again in this place of love. May it be so until we meet again.